Sometimes it's a pain to get the ball down the middle of the lane, but these bowlers can do it at the Anne Arundel County Unified Bowling Championships at Annapolis Bowl. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker with another edition of Athletes in Action in honor and memory of my mom, Dee Baker. Let's go flying in with the South River Seahawk Unified Bowling Team and head coach, Mike Topper. What got you involved in Unified Bowling? Um, a lot of my friends have done this before and they said it was fun. And then I was also in Mr. Baker's leadership class, so kind of just decided to join. Talk to us a little bit about leadership class. What what does that class encompass? Um, we do a lot of work with the people at our schools. We do work with the PALS and the Central Special students and work with the elderly sometimes. How do you motivate this South River bowling team? To get pumped for bowling when we uh, practice and when we have matches and stuff. I'm in Best Buddies and some people in Best Buddies do unified sports. Um, what really, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's just the fun of the game. Best Buddies is a club at South River High School and other schools. We compare kids with special needs and we pair up with somebody, a buddy, and to go out and do things. I just love being here. The energy is so positive and they're always such in a good mood. It's really contagious. Whenever they get a strike or a spare, they're so encouraging and they really just put everyone around them in a better mood and give a new perspective. All the athletes are so uplifting and everyone's so encouraging of each other and it doesn't have that competitive aspect that a lot of sports have. Are you a pretty good bowler? Yeah. Yeah? So you guys are a good team. Yeah. Now talk to me about your whole team. What makes South River Seahawks bowling fun. Shikes. And what else? And spells. I just tell him to keep going, that I know he can do it, not to get discouraged. Wow. That I know he can do it because he's smart. Yeah, it's my first year. Um, both my children have special needs, so I had a connection to that community, and I actually bowled in college. So uh, I thought I could bring both things to the table. And this is my third year doing this, and I love bowling. It's my favorite sport, doing this with the kids. Everybody's great here. They really stress kind of the relationships with the athletes, not so much do, I mean, they want you to do your best, but it's not about competing and beating. It's more about having a good time, which is really nice. And they really stress that, and it's really nice to have them around. We have so many partners that want to bowl that we actually had to split them on our Monday and Wednesday practices. We bring a different group because we have so many other partners that want to be involved. Everybody gets along and has a good time no matter who they're bowling with. And it's just, I mean, I smile every time I watch. I almost cry sometimes when I watch them because they get along so well. We may not bowl very well, but we have a good time no matter what. The most important part is just building the, the social part of it and the friendships that I have with, you know, these students. Thanks for rolling in. I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, on the air, or on the lanes with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletes in Action. Strikes and spares, all is fair when it comes to the Anne Arundel County Unified Bowling Championships. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker with another edition of Athletes in Action at Annapolis Bowl. Let's go clawing in with the Annapolis Panther Unified Bowling Team and head coach Amanda Weisgerber. What got you interested in bowling in general? Um, I always knew about it at school, but um, it wasn't really until my junior year that I started to to get involved with the special ed um, kids and in the unified bowling um, program. And then once um, I started with the unified bowling, I um, became more familiar with the kids and started with unified bocce and then now I'm a peer buddy at school. What do you like the best about Ellie? 
Is she a good bowler? Yep. Ah, very good. And and did she get a lot of strikes? Yeah. A lot of spares too? Yep. Tell me how strong you are. <laughs> <laughs> very good. The Unified Sports Program actually means a lot to me and I'm going to be so sad graduating and not being able to see them every other day. Um, but they, they've they helped me kind of decide what I want to do in college. Um, being on the unified sports teams has wanted me to major in special education um, and further my uh, academic career. Oh, that's so awesome. Tell me about your team a little bit, Moises. Uh, good. They're a good team. Yeah. How good are they? The best good. in the county, right? Kind of. <laughs> Is that true? Tell us that. Are you the best in the county? Yeah. I know to be a bowler, you have to be a good student, too. Are you a good student? Yeah. Yes? What, what grades do you get? A. A's? All right. So you're, you're a smart guy. Yep. So how many strikes are you going to get today, do you think? What's your goal? 100. 100 <laughs> strikes. If you get 100 strikes, you're definitely going to be successful today. I think it's really just creating a relationship with uh, students that we don't see all the time every day because we're not in the same classrooms as students like Marcus. Um, so it's a nice way because we also have other unified sports um, to meet them outside of the classroom and build a relationship with them. So it's like Marcus, for instance, we've bowled a lot together even last year. So he and I have developed a relationship not only um, playing unified bowling, but even when we see each other in the hallways, we're able to say hi to each other um, and just see familiar faces throughout the school. Well, Marcus, talk to me a little bit about this guy, Winston, here. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy, it seems like. Is that true? Yeah, he's good at bowling. He likes to say hi, and he gets to give me pounds. And I t have him a pipe talk in a bowling game if he misses some bowling things. You got this, Winston. You, you got this. I, t I, t I talk to them how to do that so they won't give up and never get confused and let them try their best and having fun. Ms. Wise and Ms. Birmingham, they're kind of nice. They watch us and they see how we're doing and they say good job to us. They're wonderful teachers. Just like every other sport, you guys have to have the good grades. Yeah, it's still a challenge sometimes, especially um, if you have a lot of things to do that week sometimes. Like, I know I've had to miss one practice because I had so much stuff to do. Just seeing Marcus in the hallway, though, it's it's the thing, like I said, it's a familiar face and someone you can say hi to. And when he has a smile on his face, it makes me feel better too. So, um, and his pep talks, it's not even funny. I kid you not, last game I was doing horrendous. And for some reason, he was like, all right, pep talk. And I improved so much better. And then I said back to Marcus, I'm like, hey, we got to do this together. We got to do very, very well. Um, and that's what we did. So, what did you say in that pep talk there, Marcus? Winston, try to get in the middle of the strike and then line and then. Try rolling with your right hand and going like this. And try on the left. If the ball turns right, it can get to the middle of the strike. But you can do it and never give up on me. My team is absolutely amazing. I adore them. And during school, I actually coach most of them too. So I get to see them here and at school. And it doesn't seem like working or coaching at all because they're they're funny. We laugh every practice because they, they come with such character. Getting a chance to coach, in my opinion, the best athletes at Annapolis High School is, like Amanda said, it's, it's not work at all. It's just fun. We have fun. We might not necessarily have the most skilled bowlers, but we are definitely going to have the most fun bowlers. Um, gosh, the kids, I can't tell them how proud I am of how much they actually value their friendship over their playing. I mean, they, they're more concerned about who they're going to play with and who they get to sit with and what score they're going to get. So I really love how they bring that every game to, you know, just excitement for each other. So the collaboration between the athletes and partners is one of the most fun things. We have seniors who genuinely are excited to like move on, but they want so bad to stay just for the unified sports. And that's what unified sports is all about, is the partners working with and having fun with the athletes and giving them, you know, friendships that will last seriously well, well beyond bowling season. Thanks for bowling in. I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air. And with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Athletes in Action.
When they get the call, they know how to ball. Cause there's a lot of fight in the Cougars blue and white. Welcome to another edition of Athletes in Action. I'm Wiley Baker in the Dina at Chesapeake High School. Let's go D it up with the Lady Cougars basketball team and head coach Maria Gray. The Chesapeake Lady Cougars basketball team has found success both rewarding and challenging. We're proud of um, the achievements we've made as a program. Recognize we're, we're always still building. The girls have been doing well, playing hard, and they're still working and still improving. Coming here from my freshman year, I've just been working hard with the group of girls that we have. Coach Maria has been an excellent coach as long as Coach Leroy. We went from being good to great in the last couple of years. The captain's leadership comes into play to develop togetherness. Being a leader of these girls is great, you know. They look up to you, They, um, you have a lot of responsibility. Tell them just keep working. Coach told me to keep working with them to make them better. This year's team, especially, it's great chemistry. Um, we're still growing. We have younger players that haven't been acclimated to varsity. Um, we've had injuries. We've had a lot to deal with um, early on. Um, but, you know, we continue to just show that resiliency. Being a successful athlete and a successful student at Chesapeake takes discipline. We put a lot of emphasis on grades. Schoolwork comes first. Um, we actually, I get grade reports weekly and we do a, a program wide JV varsity. How many A's do we have? How many B's? How many C's? And we, we look to grow on that each week. So we're always getting competitive, whether it's in the classroom to keep improving or on the, on the court. Being a student athlete comes before basketball, so we have a lot of study halls. Grades, you know, go hand in hand with high school and athletics. So Coach Maria helps keep track of it, make sure we keep them up. But it's definitely uh, a balancing act. The Lady Cougars scratch out key victories when staying at their best health. We put a lot of emphasis um, dynamic stretching to begin with, especially when I mean, we're in the cold months, um, hydrating. Uh, we make sure the locker rooms, you know, has plenty of water. So if they stop throughout the day, they can be drinking on game days, have water going. So um, we, we put emphasis so that that will help them um, in their performance during games as well. Playing basketball, we do have a lot of running going on. So after practice, I go to the gym. And not just me, but a lot of my teammates come too. How much fun is the Dina Bowl? Hoops version. We played really good together. Everybody scored that game. Everybody came up to play. We had a really good game. It was fun. It's great to just see the community come out for the Dina Bowl. I know some of the girls on Northeast too, so that's always fun to play against some of your friends. Playing Northeast is always a fun game. Sometimes you feel a little nervous, but it's fine once you go on the court. I told the girls, uh, you know, another thing that just live it for these moments. That's what high school sports are all about. Those kind of rivalries, the intensity, you never know. You can never underestimate what the game might bring, but, um, you know, we had a good game that night and everybody scored and participated and the crowd was into it. So um, they're, they're the moments that you remember the most. Fans are roaring louder and louder for their Lady Cougars. The team has improved a lot from freshman year. We all, you know, had that mindset of wanting to win. So that's what we did. It just makes the game so much more exciting. You know, it's already great to play against people in your community, but when everyone comes out and watches, it makes it even more exciting. It's a great experience seeing all the fans come out and support us means a lot to us. You know, they're not only important parts of this team, but they're role models to the community. Thanks for tuning in. In honor and memory of my mom, Dee Baker, I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air, and with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Athletes in Action.